All right, guys, so today I'm going to be breaking down this curl route here by Stefan Diggs. We're going to talk about how there's no indicator in his route and how his pad level is great up into the top of this route, how he's able to get out of this thing very fast, right? So now the main thing is about this stem of the route here. This is where everybody kind of screws this thing up because they get so caught up in steps at the top of the route. Oh, I must take three steps. I would rather take less time at the top of the route than three steps at the top of the route, right? And Diggs here is so fast up into this break, there's no indicator with his pad level, right? He's going to keep the same pad level. He's selling vert the entire time through. There's a very hard thing to do, right? A lot of receivers, right before they get to their fourth outside step, they start to raise up. They start to get real choppy with their steps, and then they can't drop right in stride. But when you're able to run full speed and just drop right now and be violent with your hips, bring your chin to your knee, that's so hard to react for a DB and a back pedal, right? Yes, we would like to, and we'd like to be perfect and get three steps here, but I would much rather have speed into the break and two extra steps than you slow down and get three steps because the guy who slows down and takes three steps, you're going to be slow out of the break, right? The Diggs right here, when he's running full speed and he uses his hips to slow him down, uses his hips to bring him and decelerate him, and he takes five steps, but he's accelerating out of this break. He created some energy at the top of the route. He's going to be faster back to the ball rather than the guy who slows down and is so worried about steps. I'd rather cut down time at the top of the route than steps. So this is a great job here using this trigger step, going up fourth outside, being as violent as he can with his hips. The only way you change direction running full speed is by dropping your hips this aggressively and getting into an explosive position. If you're soft and you try to stand tall, like you try to make this break standing up tall here and you don't drop, you're going to drift and you're going to take a lot more extra steps and it's going to be wasted time. You want to be violent, you use your hips to decelerate you, then we get out of this thing in five. Let's watch it again one more time. So he's coming out here full speed, use your hips to drop you, get out of this break and run back to that ball.